two teams one prize rock bottom aim stars one last map bind is where we see the epic conclusion for this grand final a hundred dollars thank you to our sponsor as well uh, fit fam to give us that extra 50 to give these players a little bit more cash in their pockets at the end of the whole road doctor are you as excited as i am for this last map Oh, I'm super excited. It all comes down to this $100 on the prize pool. We have Rock Bottom looking to, you know, redeem themselves from last week where they went to a game three and fell to, uh, you know, another team. And now this time they're looking to run it back against Aim Stars. They're looking into this map number three. It's Bind, a map that they've obviously played a billion times in the past, just that this time it's for $100. It's much better than playing solo queue. 100 percent it's way way better than solo queue especially because there's no smurfs and on on, on him like to just kind of kick you down when you're already down True. i'm having a little bit of flashbacks here i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to uh cause you to mentally have a problem but it is going to be, I think this is an interesting setup here for depending on what agent selections from what we see locked in already. It's pretty standard stuff. Um, Hewn, you know, moving away from that breach that we saw last time that was, in my opinion, very successful in shutting down Jack this time over to the Rays. It's a much more traditional bind pick. It pairs really well with almost any other duelist that you want to run. This time it is hijinks still on that jet player. And so now it's just up to them to pick the supporting agents. And it seems like it's going to be Cypher, Astra, Sova. Pretty standard core there. Things I'm surprised that I'm not seeing are Viper picks. I haven't seen Viper out of these two teams yet. It seems like they're trying to stray away from this, this agent. Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite comfortable either. But definitely going to be interesting once again to see the kind of difference between picks on the omen and shrouds and the astra because they've really seen their differences between both of those smokes and another big difference too is going to be that raise on a map like bind can damn it do can kind of shake this up quite a bit i mean we saw earlier in the pit of valor doctor how much that that raise can do on the b site with their blast packs with the showstopper their opening potential their mid-round potential and when you group up into a little pool the amount of potential that those paint canisters have yeah and i think a big thing here is going to be which duelist duo is more successful and you know i might have to be a little bit biased here and the jack has just been so individually successful that he you know there is going to come a point where you know it's going to take the two duelists of rock bottom to out trade the one duelist of jack and so it does allow this extra raise duelist to just kind of you know have some free reign matt is going to have to try and avoid this paint can does take a ton of damage but hijinks and hewn are the ones on the aggression give it trade so far a little bit of damage over onto rock bottom though there as matt it's quite low. Jack, Jack's the wrong side. He's gonna pay for it. Big kill, and Matt recovers the frenzy as well with Hyun, who was on that flank through the TP. So the defenders now have kind of flipped this on their head. And Messi really in no position to find an opening here with picks and Taylor. They actually have a potential to rotate all the way through CT, but not gonna count for these two players pushing up. Lon Messi caught with a recon dart in their hand and Hyun is gonna take tip the scales a little bit farther into Rock Bottom's favor. The gravity well as well right into those paint canisters. Actually, are gonna miss out on him either. No damage done, but picks left alone now. 1v4, Hyun hunts him down and first strike. Rock Bottom take the pistol round. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the paint cans didn't do anything there. Uh, there was that screen flash, but I think that was from the vulnerable of the gravity well. So, sad day, but it's another piss around over to the side of rock bottom. It means they're going to be able to buy up here, but with no individual severely popping off, like no 4K and no ace, it means they're not going to buy a phantom on round two, thankfully. <laughs> we are going to see Hewn. Uh, looks like they're saving up for uh, potentially that operator as we saw previously, or just wanting to have a little bit extra money in the bank. Hey, Valor42, by the way. 42 weeks 
of this beautiful tournament. Who's gonna take this time? Big satchel charge from here and right around the corner. The pain canisters too! What is he on right now? Hijinx is gonna try to swing into it, but Mezzi finds two with the classic and he's left alone now. Finding three lives, trying to dance around these smokes, but Mike Thornton's gonna spray him down. Talk about Hyun there. Mezzi says it in chat. I couldn't agree more. What the hell is happening? Insanity. Like, I don't know how that pain can got a double kill. They chucked it through the teleporter. It found its way into Hookah and was able to just pick off the two members there. It's absolutely mental. And the rest of the team just kind of collapsed in. It got a little messy around the teleporter there. There were like seven different smokes, multiple people coming in through the teleporter, both the front door and through the teleporter itself, and somehow managing to lose three members to a frenzy on the side of rock bottom that their bonus round isn't going to be as, as uh, built up as they would probably like. Spike down, attacker spawn. Yo, Sopper's already in round three. Oh, oh God. There. <laughs> Just free low. Another Just one. Free. Right around the corner. Jack bites the dust. <laughs> oh, pain and only pain here. Vaughn's showing the dynamic of those paint cans the geometric shape of the arc you have to go recover the bomb though as it's right through this teleporter easier said than done is a full setup now for the for the side of rock bottom to watch over the spike Messi is gonna find one but the trade's coming out Vaughn's gonna take down Hyun. he has about 10 health to his name two players left on rock bottom on either side of him Vandal gonna be missing those shots. A little bit shaky. Rock bottom find three now in a row. Same starts yet to really find anything on binds. Got a little dicey there for a second at the very end. It was potentially a bit of a blow up, but Hune and Hijinx are uh, quite strong. Hijinx not having a frag yet, which is a little disappointing, but Hune's yes, more than making up for it. 10 and two, Colin. We've played three rounds. It's wow, more than three kills spot. around on average. It's like 3.3 repeating forever. And we've only played three rounds. It's insane. How do you, how, how? I don't have answers. I don't have words. It's just the power of rock bottom. Aggression through a fountain. Find Messi, swap over to Vaughn's. Two early kills. And he starts just scratching their head. I mean, Taylor can hear them, but Hijinx is just not missing the running headshot onto the Cypher. Things that just are so unfortunate for him. He knows Spike is down too. Hijinx is just gonna wait here on low health. And the spikes One enemy or the smoke remaining. is gonna dissipate eventually and they just have to worry about the spike they don't actually have to really do a whole lot i mean they can just hang out they get the flawless anyway and everything comes together nicely it's five members alive five rifles alive economy is booming they have full armor full rifles full utility they're getting ultimates on the table already hijinx has the blade storm they are in such good shape right now i mean financially this is just the best i've seen rock bottom all day this is buying they they're owning but i thought that ascent was this team's map but Bind is looking to be quite the third for them as well. Hijinx looking to push their aggression through a short shroud to back him up on a crossfire. Three players and in fact the Tailwind to dash on out as well. Jack does find Showers Control taking out May Thority. It is going to leave us four on four. To run. One, the can we get? Fury. What can we get out of the Hunter's Fury? Damage on Hijinx, damage on Hyun. Jack's gonna walk in, find Hyun as well, and the knives too! Jack is back in a peak male performance here. <laughs> Somehow slips through heaven as well. Uh, is potentially looking to catch a flank here as Matt may not be expecting this, but they certainly are. Jack just gets clothesline. Shrouds is on camera, doesn't care, getting caught in 4K as Taylor trades out Mezzi. Matt though. They might not expect this again. When is the first trade? Needs one more. 70 HP and a 1v1. 
and the cyber cage to split them off as soon as it drops matt is gonna take it rock bottom keep their flawless going five in a row now i mean talk to me a little bit about a stars what do you think is kind of nullifying anything that has to do with them i mean jack got a 3k in that round and still they couldn't come out on top this is kind of what i was talking about in the duelist duos to a point where you know i was saying that jack was just going to be so far ahead of the curve that the rest of the team wasn't necessarily going to need to show up in a certain way and what we're seeing so far has been almost the exact opposite you know jack finally has a good round and it just wasn't enough the rest of the team wasn't there supporting him and so they they lose everybody to the duelist duo of aim stars for the most part i mean that time it was down to matt for a lot of it but they did the hard work they got the clutch they put matt in the position to clutch and so jack cannot be the only aim star aiming at this point everybody needs to be hitting hitting their shots chat aim stars they need your glg gas right now because they just seem like they are running on fumes hunter's fury from my authority, taking taking him down to 45 health. Mezzi is just dodging as best as they can. The pain can still can clean him up. Hyun for two. Tries to look for a third onto Jack, but gonna lose their head for it. One as you do see, the rest of Rock Bottom now looking to clean up house. Taylor takes down high jinx, but they are so low that Shrouds just needs to tickle him a little with that Vandal to drop them. Aim starts again and again. They keep falling lower and lower. Digging themselves a hole and they just don't have the ladder out. Can I get a drop? It's already 6 0. Can I get it's a drop? Six rounds in, it's six rounds Thanks. down here for Aim Stars. And they finally have another rifle round for them. They do have the showstopper available, the neural theft, the teleport here from Pix as well. But Keep do up. they use them is the question. I think you kind of have to at this point. You're down six rounds, right? Like you don't have anything to show for the six rounds that we've played so far outside of some frags. So you need to spend a little bit more. You need to get a little bit more aggressive. And like I said, you need everybody to start getting kills. Hi, Jinx. Oh. This is exactly what Jack was doing back on Haven. He's just finding those opening picks. And the neural theft too. Taylor has an idea that Hyuna is there after the TP noise. So big one-on-one -on -one exactly victory for himself. And neural theft to answer back too. Opens up the site for Jack. We're gonna lose the duel to Shrouds. And the, the, the line is gonna miss my authority. So when the swing into for Shrouds is gonna be answered by the Sova. I know Taylor's lurking around here somewhere. And Taylor's just winning those peaky duels. Spike is picked up by Mezzi, soon to drop as well. All up to Taylor. Has to play for the ace. Has to go through the operator of hijinks as well. Going to put out some tracers, so they know that they're in showers, right? And you can see the flank here from Matt actually ran through the teleporter, and it looks like Taylor... Left. They must have heard it, right? Like, there's no way you don't hear a teleport, even though technically I didn't hear it. But hijinks caught on camera busts that up and i mean the round's over like there's no way for taylor to get frags get the spike and get a plant in at this point and i mean look at how far back matt was they teleported in and ran away like they were so far from the original position you could tell that they just had no way of knowing that that's where they rotated to folks if you have small children with you Avert their eyes because this is a massacre here from rock bottom and I thought that Spongebob was having trouble in rock bottom aim stars seem to have even tougher of a time This is definitely a spanking from rock bottom. I was I, I had no way of expecting this. I thought this was going to be so much closer than what we're seeing right now. We're getting the showstopper and the teleport out of the aim stars. One's going to go wide. The teleport also didn't go anywhere as they just line up from authority and they get shut down. It's beautiful. The disengage back into the pressure. Rock bottom are One not blinking remaining. an eye at anything that aim stars are bringing. Now Hyun going to take down Messi to leave picks all alone. Gravity well to put the charity on top, and he is stuck in that corner. Shrouds is gonna put that one down for an eighth round in a row. 
Not what I expected to a map number three, but if you are a rock bottom fan, you are absolutely ecstatic right now. Yeah, you're having a great time. You are just basking in the excellence here. And you hope it continues. But for now, I, th I think it's going to. I, I think I think the streak's going to continue. I think it's going to be 9-0 right after rock bottom. I mean, they're heading into Sheriff's, which, to be fair, we've seen some Sheriff magic tonight. We have seen some fancy stuff. So can they do it again is the question. Is Jack is going to get caught out as Hune kills somebody in game, of course. Matt with a beautiful Spike sprite transfer and picks to Taylor. It just seems clinical at this point. Spike goes down. Vaughn's inside hookah. Only paint canisters. No showstopper. Nowhere close to the showstopper. Nothing else. Jack shoulders into Matt. And with the Phantom at a distance, it seems like even the Sheriff with the one-shot potential, the Phantom's still going to have the advantage in this fight. But you got the backup now from the Operator. Is going to miss that first shot. The gravity well to try to suck them on in. Hijinx speaks for a second when a tail went in to distract him. Swats to the classic, but Matt's got your back. You're right. Prediction looking good here. Nine rounds in a row. This has to be mentally breaking. This has to be really... Uh, this is be pretty bad to see. Like this can't be fun to watch right now. Uh, if you're an a, a, if you're an Amstars fan, and B, if you're an Amstar, right? Like if you're on this team and you're just watching round after round after round after round after round after round after round, after round not go your way on sometimes the slimmest of margins, to now find yourself in this seemingly insurmountable deficit. You're just getting obliterated on these peaks, and I don't. Outside of just aiming better, there's nothing you can do because you're not being beat by utility, right? Like you're not getting flashed by breach. You're not getting smoked off. You're just losing these oh, guns. Oh, that's a bit of hubris there from Hijinx. You go for the right click from Hijinx on those knives, and the showstopper just in case you miss. Luckily, the showstopper was there because he did miss, and. You pick up the operator, you pick up the Phantom for the operator, but you're looking to take it into the next round. Double digits. Folks, Fred's to rock bottom. Looking like that is the seemingly the bet to go with here on Binds. This is, um... I'm running out of words in all honesty, Colin, because it, it gets... We're hitting that stage where it's like, you know, what, what can we say about aim stars outside of just, Get out of my they're way. getting outclassed on bind and all right, that's something. Go aim stars, do that again. Just a there's lot only, more. <laughs> there's only so many ways you can explain a massacre, everyone. <laughs> yeah, like just kill them again and again until you're winning <laughs> because right now it's not really going your way. That was a really sick shot onto uh, Hijinx, so I, I gotta give credit where credit's due. And I mean, you're looking at Aimstars really to just play more, I guess, default into this and play for a mistake on Rock Bottom. The only thing is Rock Bottom is not making mistakes as their disengages into the retakes are so fluent, so practiced. And so well communicated that it's just tough to deal with these situations. Taylor has found themselves side by side. A killer's whisper with the sheriff would find the likes of Shrouds. But in fact, Shrouds is going to spray through that wall. Vaughn's did take an operator kill onto the likes of the enemy. And leaving us at a 3v3. Shrouds stuck onto D field. Hoon hits the flank. Backing up with this pinch. Vaughn splits the difference in the... the Cosmic Divide maybe just keeping Matt onto this. They're going to stick the defuse. 11th round as Vaughn's finds four into it. Not going to amount to anything Last round but confidence. Was <laughs> it wasn't enough. They had the 4k on to Vaughn's and it was not enough. And you can't even say it's because they had, you know, the weaker weaponry because while they did, had they had rifles, that wouldn't have happened, right? Here. They wouldn't have had that one tap potential. They wouldn't have beaten hijinks. <laughs> on that first shot accuracy they would have you know had a bit of a harder time the scenario that they found themselves in was the best case for them and it just 
it just didn't work out. So now it's 11 to zero. Last one in the half. Yeah. Operator versus operator, and Hijinx wins out. And I mean, I really would like to look for a difference from Aimstars. And we can talk about all the things that they need to do, but simply Rock Bottom are not allowing that with the amount of forward aggression that we see from these operators. With the amount of just pressure that they're applying to aim stars there's no way to break on through honestly you just need to force a mistake if you are aim stars and your agent picks aren't aren't really in a situation where you can force a mistake out as they don't have uh, have too many flashes they don't have that breach they don't have a sky it's just really walking into the traps that rock bottom are setting for you and nothing to just dodge around them switching sides match point this is um this could be it, Colin. This could literally be the final round of the night. Uh, it's 12 to 0 in favor of Rock Bottom. It's a pistol round, though, so largely anything could happen. Uh, you know, there is a bit of a chance here for Aim Stars if they can win this round and run it all the way back 12 to 0 uh, in opposite fashion. Then they go to overtime here against Rock Bottom. But if they make any single mistake and lose a round here it is over for them and rock bottom will be the pit of valor 42 champions at a 13x scoreline camera taken out it's so long since i've been 13 0s let me tell you it's been a minute for me as well it was definitely an ice box last time i saw it but it's still been a minute taylor Started strong, but it, it fell apart very quickly. Well, Taylor has escaped into elbow with the Sheriff, the Police Station 5 Sheriff. We to at least shake this round up that spike down now. Matt losing their noggin. Shroud's answers back, and Taylor is just not missing here. Shooting oh, nukes God. with the Sheriff as he's deputized into you. No, not in 4K. Jack from behind is gonna be dropped down Attacker ladies win. and gentlemen salutes yes. to your agents yes, zero purpose, for the aim stars 13-0 victory in the grand finals